Well, first of all, not starving. So it's yeah. lower food intake without malnutrition. Um, but yes, it was large, you know, I think at the early stages, phenomenology. And one of the earliest kind of viewing the, the physiology and, you know, potential mechanisms really focused on immunity and um, the immune system and inflammation. So that was Roy Walford, who really was one of the champions of this of this field altogether. The guy I worked with, a very good friend, Rick Weindruck, um, wrote the book, the book, the book on delayed aging in the 80s. And uh, so when I realized I, was, I had the opportunity to come and work for him, of course, I jumped at it. And he was involved in, in looking at, at, at mouse models and rat models of delayed aging. So when the animals eat less, they live longer. They eat less, they weigh less, they're smaller, and they live longer. And they offset the timing of age-related diseases. But get this, Martin, in the 1940s, there were papers showing that caloric restriction delayed the onset of cancer. And not just cancers that spontaneously arise, but also ones that are implanted or ones that are induced by toxic agents to, oh. to induce cancers. So there's something about caloric restriction, which is like non-permissive for tumor growth. 